Today is the day of the purge. Hello everybody, it's cleanup day here at the studio and look what we found on our shelves. Now I know this lens is six months old, but I still believe it's worthy of an unboxing and a review. So please stick with me, roll the intro. TheIconicProject.com Discover, learn, and create. Okay, we're not gonna go into the history of this lens because I, I believe we all know by now that this lens was made possible uh, with a crowdfunding campaign. What I'd like to get more into is, is what I think this lens could represent to modern day photography. And the young photographer, the digital photographer of today, this thing, when I saw it, I thought to myself, it just might be the gateway drug that takes a young photographer of today on a trip back in time to the very birth of photography. And anything that gets uh, a young person interested in uh, pinhole photography, well, that is just super cool in my book. about you guys, but when I uh, hear expedite, I think of either overnight or at the very least within two weeks. Whatever. Let's see what we got here. We got some packing material, foam. We've got, it's either a ND filter or it could be a polarizer. I don't know. That was not part of the deal. We got here probably a packing list, sure enough. Packing list. Here is the bad boy, the Pinhole Pro. We've got, this must be the UV filter. No, it is a lens cap. There's a very nice case here to put the lens in, and it sounds like there's something in here, and I'm sure that's going to be the UV filter. Certainly is. So there we go. We've got the lens, UV filter, what looks like a, either a polarization filter or an ND filter in a really kind of tough case uh, that this lens can go in. So there we are. Let's get into unwrapping this. All right, now I have seen this box open probably half a dozen times in videos. It's pretty amazing. The packaging. This thing is phenomenal. Wow. There it goes. All right. And this slides out. Got a little zipper on this side here. And here it goes. I'll tell you what, I know there's awards given out for packaging, right? There's awards for everything else. Why not packaging? Well, that, that deserves an award. That is some cool packaging. I don't know if you've noticed, but packaging these days has become a thing. And this is something else. All right, here is the lens. It's rather, yeah. It's got a little heft to it. Let's see what we got here. Very good. All right, so it comes with a little uh, plastic cap, but they gave uh, also an aluminum lens cap. Very, very nice. And look at this. I don't know if you can see this. Right there, engraved in the side, is iconicproject.com. Now, it's a bit unnecessary, but I'll tell you what, it is a cool little trick to have your name of your company, your website, or just your name on the lens. So that is very, very cool that they did that. Let me give you some technical uh, specifications on this lens. 
the focal length is 50 millimeter. The pinhole sizes are 0 0.1 millimeter, 0 0.15, 0 0.2, 0.25, 03, 035, 0.5, and 08. The lens mounts are for Canon EOS, EF, Nikon F, Sony A and Sony E mount, Fuji X, Micro Four Thirds, and Pentex K. The threads are 58 millimeter. The front diameter is 68.5 millimeters. The total depth, including the lens cap, would be 50 millimeter. The body is made out of an anodized aluminum alloy. The holes for the pinholes, they're drilled with precision. And you can hear that maybe. It locks into place pretty well with each aperture. It, there's not a whole lot of play in this lens. Why even have a UV filter for a, a pinhole lens? What this does is remember you've got a hole here going into your sensor in your camera and as small as it is I'm sorry dust is smaller so by putting that on there you've now prevented the possibility of any dust or anything getting in on your sensor so I just think that is a very very important feature to have on this lens a lot of people were complaining about the, the, the weight of the lens, which, I'm sorry, a uh, pinhole lens with eight apertures, I don't mind the weight. I've got here a Nikkor 28 millimeter, and quite frankly, the 28 millimeter is uh, uh, a little heavier. I think you're nitpicking uh, if you're going to argue the weight of this lens. Quite frankly, it's, it's, a, it's a solid build. I think you could drop this lens and it would be fine. It doesn't, uh, doesn't seem like it would break very easily at all. Good job, Thingify. Just who is Thingify? What is a Thingify? Well, Thingify is a groundbreaking interactive platform that connects the global maker movement with the next generation of manufacturing technologies. Powered by 200 plus state-of-the-art industrial robotics, sustainable by smart solutions including end-to-end -end services, Thingify opens up the future of manufacturing with a truly original optimization platform. Thingify offers seamless integration at the intersection of change. Wow, that is a cool change. And this is a cool company. Just think of 3D printing jacked up on steroids. Okay, uh, you could pick this lens up for about $70, which is a great price point, considering you could pay uh, anywhere around $100 all the way up to $1,200 for a single aperture pinhole lens. Now, we all know you could easily build a very nice pinhole for about $100. You could even make one out of a shoe box or even a cigar box virtually for free. Or for $70, you can pick up the Pinhole Pro and be ready to shoot in minutes. So we'll be putting the Pinhole Pro through its paces over the next few months and hopefully it'll be uh, resulting in some very thoughtful photography and thoughtful pinhole video. Looking uh, really forward to the video aspect of this lens. So what else will we be doing on this channel? The Iconic Project has a special affinity towards Polaroid and Polaroid processes. So we will also be showing you everything there is to know about Polaroid cameras, films, and techniques. So please join us, subscribe to our channel, and stay informed. Until next time, discover, learn, and create.